Hello folks. So today we're going to be talking about how to take an equation that is not in slope-intercept form and to move it into slope-intercept form. So this is kind of the mirror idea of what we did with standard form. Um, oftentimes I don't really go through this in detail, uh, but we do it in class and so I'm able to help out when there are questions. Uh, but I think from the homework for standard form, a lot of people had questions related to this. So we're going to do a, a full lesson and example on it so that you can see how it works. So the idea is what if I have an equation like, I don't know, 3x minus 5y plus 25 equals 0. So this equation is in standard form. But I might have a question like, uh, what is the slope and y-intercept of this equation? Or I might be asked, put this equation into slope-intercept form. Or I might even be asked, uh, make a table for this equation. All of those things are a lot easier to do if we have the equation in slope-intercept form. So we'll talk about how to do that. Just like when we're trying to get an equation into standard form, we're going to use our equation solving steps. So we're going to be doing the same thing to both sides. But now instead of trying to get the x all by itself on one side and a number on the other side, we're going to be trying to get things rearranged to slope intercept form, also known as y equals mx plus b. And really, whoop, there's the focus, really this means that we're trying to get the y isolated all by itself instead of the x, which is what we'd normally do if our goal was to solve. So we'll go through and see how to do that. So I want y by itself. I've got lots of other things over here. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of the plus 25. And I'm going to do that, of course, by subtracting 25 on both sides. Keeps it equal. So then I'll have 3x minus 5y. I'm going to leave a bit of space here that I'm going to use in a second. 25 minus 25 is 0, 0 minus 25 is negative 25. Now, in y equals mx plus b form, the x is also on the right side of the equation, so I want to move this 3x out of here because I don't want it on the same side as the y. So 3x minus 3x will give me 0, so I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. So 3x minus 3x is 0, all that's left on this side is negative 5y. And then over here, I'm going to reorder. Remember, the sign in front of the term is part of the term. So minus 3x, or negative 3x, minus 25. There we go. So now you can see I'm really close. I have something over here that looks like mx plus b. Over here, I have this negative 5 with the y, and I don't want that. So if I just want y here, since it's a multiplication, we can undo it with a division. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. 1 times y is just going to be y. Of course, I also need to divide everything over here by negative 5. You could divide the whole thing in one line and then use like distributivity, which works for division, but we haven't talked about using distributivity for division, only for multiplication. So for now, we're just going to divide every part of the equation, every term of the equation. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. 1y one is just y. And then here, negative divided by negative is positive. So this is 3 over 5. And you could put that as a decimal, but remember when we're working with linear equations, we want to keep things exact. And that means usually keeping things as a fraction. This one actually will turn out as an exact decimal as well. But it's a good habit to just keep it as a fraction. For the last term, we have negative divided by negative again. So that's going to be positive. 25 divided by 5 is 5. And now you can see that we have the equation arranged. y equals mx plus b. We know that our slope is 3 fifths. We know that our y-intercept is 5. Now it would be really easy to go ahead and graph this equation. This is slope-intercept form. So if we were asked what is the slope-intercept form, well, now we have that. 
Uh, and the last thing we might have been asked, besides slope intercept form, what is the slope, what is the intercept, or graph this equation, we might have been asked to make a table of values. And if we want to do that, well, it's not impossible in standard form, but it's a little trickier. In this form, it's really easy. We know when x is 0, y is going to be 5, because 5 is the initial value, or y-intercept. And then we know it's going to go up 3 every time we go over by 5. So that means when the x goes up by 5, the y is going to go up by 3. x goes up by 5, y goes up by 3. x goes up by 5, y goes up by 3. x goes up by 5, y goes up by 3. And I always like to double check and make sure that I've done things right. So I'll take this point and I'm going to sub it in 3 fifths times 20. Use a little bit of scratch space up here. 3 fifths times 20. 20, of course, 20 over 1 is the same thing. That's 60 divided by 5, which is 12. So uh, 3 fifths times 20 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17. So we did this calculation correctly. Now we can also check it up here. 3 times 20, that's 60. 5 times y, that's 5 times 17. 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 10 is 50. So this is subtract 85 plus 25. And if we add all of those up, we see we do indeed get zero. So it checks out that we've done this correctly. We're still getting the same points here as well. So with that little verification, we can make sure that we've done things correctly. So I hope that helps you out with the change from standard form to slope intercept form. Uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop me an email.